guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodie Mermaid and today we are following on from our Amika games. Uh, last time we played September 7th and today we are playing Summer 58. Here we go. <laughs> New game. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems that their uh, entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who bought them this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton and we're getting started. <gasps> Okay. Oh, is this the footage? Oh, I'm not controlling this. Okay. It's across on the wall. Um, is that blood? Bastard. Hey, sin, sin. Cuddly toy. A cuddly toy. That's. Okay, it's a mask. That's a, that's a creepy picture. Okay. I hope we don't have to study this. That looks questionable. Creepy bedroom. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumor that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place and those who were not touched by the tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened to find out the rumours are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights recording and a report i have a video camera a sleeping bag a backpack with the with things and food with me okay i didn't take any of that in because i was so focused on reading very fast but yes all right <laughs> cool <laughs> amika games presents <sighs> need to explore this camp all right I like the art style. So we're in Russia. Oh, little coat pegs. Oh my god, did you have a picture with a coat peg? I had a tomato. I wanted the kite. My sister had the kite. I had a tomato. Gosh, I always remember that. I don't do that now. We just have children's faces at my nursery. We don't have pictures. Red flag. <laughs> Red flag. Oh, okay, we can take down boards. Good to know. Last one. Why did he sigh? Uh, what's this? Oh, it seemed like I could pick that up. Cigarettes. It's in the middle of the forest. Toilet. Okay, there's nothing in here to look at, I don't think. I'll carry on. Not sure how to use my torch. Ooh, creepy. Oh, this is the toys. Cute. Oh! Did someone feed cats here? Huh. I don't know. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Better go get it. Do you have it with you, sir? Where's your backpack? Did you bring a backpack? The noises are crazy. I think we just had names attached to the cubbies. Cubbies, what a cute word. Yeah, I mean, I had a picture um, of a tomato, but now we just use the kid's face so that they know. A 
Okay, something just ran past my fucking head. Excuse my French. We'll bleep that out later. I can hear a cat. I swear I could hear a cat like purring. Excuse me? Oh, hello. It's a teddy. Hi. Do you want your ball back? I'll go get it. One sec. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Well, I said don't move. Now you made a ruckus, so. Where's the cat? It will be dark soon. I need to look for candles. Oh dear. Crikey. It will be dark soon. I'm getting nervous because I don't have no candles. Um, okay. Oh. These candles will be useful when night falls. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there you are. I didn't even see the teddy there. Creepy. Can I go anywhere else? I'm gonna press every damn button to get my candles out. Nope. It just seemed to be going backwards and forwards because, um,. I don't really know what else to do. Why scary music? Did the, oh my God, did the bunny leave? Or is the bunny still there? No, the bunny's still there. Hi, money. There's a gas mask. Hello. I must be able to go somewhere else. I can't go through these doors. Can I go in here? Is this a door? No. Hmm. Need to find a lighter or matches. Ah, okay. There's more candles here. Alright, gotta find a lighter. Where would a light oh what's this? I can't read what it says, I need to get my Russian dictionary. Well where are we sleeping? Because I have a backpack of stuff. Oh. Uh okay. Russian dictionary, take. What's this? Oh. Alright, we got our Russian dictionary. So we can we can read stuff now, right? You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of the large one to make a corridor. Say three times barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give my shoes in return. You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of the large one to make a corridor. Say three times barefoot lady, show me my fate. Alright. Girls in Russia love to guess in camps. I believe the existence of everything is paranormal. Interesting. We need to find a light there. There was something down here that we needed to um, look at, right? Okay. What 
a bunch of stuff in here that I didn't see. There's a book there. Has anybody got a loiter? The bunny has moved. Great. There was a paper here that I could have read. Here we go. In 1958, towards the end of summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in search for the missing children, but all in vain. <gasps> Ooh, spooky. I need a loiter. It's a first aid kit there. Well, there's cigarettes here. Ah, there we go. Lighter is almost empty. I can't always use it. Okay. Fair enough. Where's the mirror? Is that a Russian doll? Oh, it is. Russian doll. anything else that I can look at here is a plug socket bottles on the floor okay is this a mirror no that's a window Creepy how much you can't see. There's a door in the way of these coat pegs. I can light the candles now. Okay. Okay. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Lovely. Oh, we're going to get cosy. Done. Need to prepare for the night. Yep. Okay. Night one. You couldn't pay me millions to sleep in that place. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, I got a little clock here. Water. My bed. Is that my camera? The door's now shut. Excuse me? Ah, there's a picture here now. My grandma. Okay. It's creepy. It is a little bit. The heck is this? Oh, birds have flown into the window. Gross. That's kind of nasty, actually. Oh, there's a bunch of birds that have flown here. Ew. Can I go out this door? Has anything changed down the hallway? Everything looks the same. Oh, this teddy. He's now upside down on the chair. Right. Hmm. Oh. The rabbit's eyes light up. Do you see that? That's creepy. That is... Yeah, that's creepy. Creepy. 
stupid. Hello? Hello? I can't re re read what it says. Did you put your dictionary down? An investigation is underway of the disappearance of the children and the employees of UNOST Pioneer Camp, which opened in 1955. Under leadership of director Maria Anatolievna, ah, maybe the suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not known. In his locker, huh? Which locker is his? Hello? <gasps> you need to stop moving, bunny. Sounds like someone's eating something. Yoka. I don't see anyone's name by that. I have to keep checking where the bunny is. <laughs> I don't see a name Yoka up anywhere. Oh, hell no. Oh, the bunny's gone. Where do I go now? Bro. Both doors are open. Okay, let's get the phone. Hello? She blew out the candle and it sounded like she strangled me. Oh, oh my head. Yeah, I bet. Oh. Can't see anything. Where the? How did I get in here? Oh, this is another room. Where's my camera? I need to find my video camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the video camera at? I gotta look around first though. Sure. Hi, buddy. Did you understand? You did? Oh, shit! <laughs> no way I speak pigeon! Y'all heard it here first. I speak pigeon! <laughs> That's crazy! Alright, I need my dictionary. Where's the bunny? <laughs> my video camera. I don't understand what it says. Well, where's your Russian dictionary gone? You're not welcome here, a bear. 
The one who hit me on the head took candles. I need to figure out what's going on here. Why can I hear like breathing? I knew that was a loud bang. I need to turn on the lights for the entire building. The fuse is missing. Okay. So now we're looking for something that looks like this. Green and, and white. What's this? That one's burnt out, I guess. Okay. I can do that for you, buddy. No problem. I feel like I need a first aid kit, but it won't let me use it. Someone's singing. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. <sighs> Holy shit. Need to look this need to look this room. What the fuck? It doesn't work, I need to find the fuse. Alright. Someone is singing. There's a fuse. I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Okay. Fair, fair. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, I thought I just saw someone walk outside. My heart stopped. Where's the lights at? Is that a light? No. Okay, we found the light switch. I don't even know what that is, bruh. Can't look at anything in here. There was something in the other room though. Oh, what's this? Mariah disappeared the rest of the camp. Mariah had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted her children to her. Mm. Really? There's a light switch there. Sounds like an ice cream van. Where's it coming from? Oh, my friend the pigeon's gone. That's sad. 1958. Alright, we're getting some clues. There was this to read, wasn't there? Late at night when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fall, and the bells are uh, empty, and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers do not know what fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and... He that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not to fail. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Okay. Don't know what that means. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a little teddy bear. I don't know where the bunny is. Oh, 
Ooh, there's a handprint there. Be clean, neat pioneer, show an example in everything. What's this? A pocket watch. No. I'm gonna just keep looking around until like something happens, I guess. There's something about a mirror. Use a small mirror in front of the big mirror to make a corridor. see any mirrors though seeing a lot of gated fences a lot of dead birds is that a pig looks like a pig piggly wiggly let's go back into this room I need to go to bed, it'll be dark soon. Okay. Sleep. I can like choose to sleep, night too. The clock, <laughs> the clock stopped at three oh seven. All right. See if there's any changes. Birds are gone. Let's see if there's any differences down here. I still can't find that boy's uh, locker. Hmm. These two doors are now shut. Okay. That music started again. Something's in this room. <laughs> Haven't seen the rabbit in a while. let us go in here so I wonder if there's anything different not that I can see I can still turn that on and off
Thank you. Okay. Yep. Can we go in the other room? Where's the bunny? We can't go in here. <gasps> He's in the vent. He's in the vent. He's in the vent! <laughs> Took the body. He went in the vent with it. <laughs> this box wasn't here before. No, it wasn't. It's locked. I don't know what's inside. Hmm. Yes. Must be a key somewhere. Okay, bye. <laughs> Must be something that opens the box. Oh. Would be interesting to know what's inside. Yes, it would. Just the light bulb was in a box. Yep. Okay, we're good. How do I? I don't know how to change it. Oh, it was that. Sorry, my bad. Oh, hell no, Jody. What the fuck? Oh, they put the music back on. We got a little bit of light. Wait, what's this? This is new. I was scared and I didn't... No, it would end here. I trusted her. My friend Anna, I'm so sorry for not being able to stop this. That's new. Aww. We've seen that before. Sometimes doors work, sometimes they don't. I want I want to get in that box though. Seems like I could pick this up, but I can't. What is that noise? Oh. Hello. What's this box? The fuck, it's gushing. That's another locked box. Oh. 
I it, <laughs> I've got no words. I was expecting like a hole to climb up on the roof or something. Like I was like, oh, another area. <sighs> I wasn't expecting that. Kevin number two, mm, maybe. Jesus Christ. This is new. 1946. God, I hate it when I pick stuff up in the dark and the light turns off. A big boy now. <laughs> Bro, I missed that. I can hear breathing. Okay. All right. Whatever it is, it's going around in the Yes, key, key, key. in the box dear diary today is the annual opening day of my camp i have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me during these days i will bring up real people in them but they will also help me a lot what kind of camp is this night three night of 58 oh shit night of 58 but damn Good grief. So we're now like one of the kids that went missing. What kind of camp is this? Because they're going to bring up people to help with like therapy, I guess. So like what kind of... Oh, this is the actual... This is the... That makes no difference whatsoever. Oh, this is like now time. Oh, that's cool. There's two pieces missing. Scales, no functional weighing scale, that's weird. What kind of camp is this? Children and caregivers are asleep, I won't bother them. Okay. What's this? Why would it let me open my locker but not? Creepy fucking bike. I guess I missed something here. Perhaps, maybe. 
The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Ooh. Okay. desk is open what does this say Anna we need to run it's all because of the director I was spying on her she was talking to someone about something bad you have to believe me warn everyone we don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet we can make it help me what an arsehole I hid her key in the closet the key for you filthy child shh has the key to this no what's the key for Hannah, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I find her key in the closet, which what we can make it. Help me. So we got the key. What's the key for? Is it for the safe? Stole the second gas canister. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and returned back. What? We work together with Alexei Sergrevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. Their director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not, I will not make such a mistake because he only knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. What? And Alexei will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical report, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Fucking harvesting organs? A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives and he became my favourite because he is so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything. He does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei at the shelter where we used to work. He offered us to fulfil our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counsellors put them to bed. This can distract them. What the fuck? The filter is missing and the glass is broken. He ruined my gas mask. Need to put the gas cylinder in the door and go back to the classroom. Really gonna gas children? Ivan, I'll see you soon. Oh shit! They're gassing you. Oh, she getting gassed. Oh, that's creepy! What the fuck? Mariah's diary. 
Where are we now? Okay, we're back in the classroom. Fucking gassing kids for harvesting their organs. Oh, fuck. Crack out your mind. Oh, what's this? You were told, crossed out, to get out of here, leave this place alone. It's locked, there is some someone behind it. Okay. Because that's not creepy. All the light bulbs are gone. Great. <laughs> Great. Can I pick this up? No. Is that Jester still there? Nope, he gone. Okay. Oh, I can take stuff now? That's new. Okay. The heck is that noise? I don't see bunny boy. I hear chickens though. <laughs> oh look, there's footprints. I wanna know what's in that vent. I can take everything now. Like everything that we found, I can take, except the diary, that's weird. Still can't go in that room though. Kind of clicking on things to see what works. I can't go in that door. Because someone's behind it. Apparently. sure what else I can do at this moment oh this is new one day a girl came to the camp with a stuffed t hair toy she went everywhere with him and even slept with him the guy began to mock her and then she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl she made fun of her even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers the girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker and then in the coming night, the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. The fuck? In the locker. What locker? Is 
This is new. 1955 opening of the youth children's camp. Mine. There are empty pages left in Mariah's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Oh. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me who you are. Oh my god, someone took it. Hello? Oh! I see you! Move, I dare you. Go on. Oh, God. I didn't like how zoomed in I was. Did he answer? Whoa! Should I try writing the letter again? I mean, maybe. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me. And then I can help you. God. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. What the fuck? We write in another one? What are we writing this time? That was a big crash. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? It's like Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets with Tom Riddle's diary. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends help me drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and these people will come for me. Oh fuck, the bunny's on the table. Who are your friends and what um, and why are they here too? Stay there, bunny. I have a 
the fuck is gone? Oh, God. Where is he? The spirits of the place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that's because of um, this. He poisoned all the residents and the director. What the heck was that? All right. Grief. All this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Oh God, it's getting creepier the more like questions that are answered. Jesus. It's all her. I saw a director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night, and then I realised that it that it was connected with us. But I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there. Because I was scared and hid in the morning, I went to the into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes to go into the rooms. What the heck? That's creepy. That building abandoned. Can I get there? Am I talking to a ghost? Surely I'm talking to a ghost right now, right? Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to get to the abandoned hospital. We need to tear the boards off the front door. All right. Going to an abandoned hospital. Here we go. All right. That's freaking creepy. That's what it is. Night three. Okay. In Chile? Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Okay. Oh, you just blew my candle out. Rude. That's rude. Actually. maybe that one's shut oh this is creepy a dream catcher cute Is that noise? What was that? Oh 
Oh my god. It's getting a little bit intense. Oh, what was that? That sounded like a door opening. Wait, what? After the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. What is this? This is fucking evil. supposed to do it sound oh my god <laughs> okay oh my god okay The door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack and cut the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. Okay. Where's my backpack though? <laughs> Whoa! This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I saw. Yeah, I know. I just want to get the backpack. <gasps> what was that? Stop it. Oh, okay. All right, fair. <laughs> fair enough. Well, I kind of want to go back in that room. Or can we not go there? Oh, okay. We can open all the doors. Well, that's... Fair enough. All right. We're going to go... We're going to go in this one first. This is... God, it sounds like the wheelie men from Return to Oz. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexi agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one knows about our affairs. Yeah. Hello? battery of the angle has run out all right fair fair enough we do have that other room to explore though oh jeez this is bad oh the noises I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Benechka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. So she wanted the little boy and he found out about their plan to gas everyone and he hid in the vents. Very clever. Freaking dark, bro. Right, let's get out of here. We have another room to explore. Where is it? 
down here to the right. Here. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. And I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or a shadow. She went into a closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka on the cabinet, waste and products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. A little bit of vodka. the fuck? This closet? Oh, I was very confused. It must be in that closet, right? How are we going to move the closet? This closet? Just sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet, waste some products are made of feathers and cobwebs. I've never seen from never seen them anywhere. They look terrible. Hmm. I think I'm missing something here. Or did I get all the evidence and now I can leave? I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to move that cabinet. You know? been missing evidence of some sort. Let's go round again. We saw that. Oh, what's that for? Is there another door that we need to open? Not looking. You, baby fuck you <laughs> what 
<laughs> a lot of jump scares in here. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, great. A dark corridor. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, la, la, la. <laughs> I knew it was coming as well. <laughs> Whoa! I didn't know that was coming. <sighs> a year after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working. Dead, dead. Oh. Oh. That is witchcraft. Whoa, that is bad. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Just hang it out. We can all agree that it's going to move. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not going to leave. I'll be back. What was she meant by that, and how could she return? Maria, I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. She tried to kill a child because her child was poorly. It's not acceptable. Here are the documents from 1958, Alexei, about who Maria, Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this. I refused to work with her. Then, that what was the case in question, and who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There was something else, a death certificate document. This, this is her son, Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently, she couldn't stand it and she went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Death certificate. Okay, I'd like to leave now. What the heck is this? Need to get out of here. <laughs> as soon as possible. Let me out! Oh. Pass the exit. Oh. Three weeks later. Who 
we were in that hospital for three weeks. Are we okay? Where's my camera? Um. What? Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you lived here with your friend to protect this place further. Now it's rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. How can you say that when Maria said she'd be back? I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live and there I will have unusual case. I will tell you about it later. Ooh! Ooh! Okay! I liked it! This was good. This was interesting. A little bit different. Not just spooky. Like there was actually a really good story to it. A little bit of mystery. I liked it! It was, it was scary. I really enjoyed that. That was good. Creepy that you're literally in like one like small place and so much can happen and different things can happen and you flick between different time zones and then you move to the hospital and stuff. But like when you're just in that one little setting, like and doors open, doors close, you're right into like a ghost, the bunnies are moving around the house, there's loads of noises. It was very good for such a small map. It felt very creepy and claustrophobic. I liked it, it was a good setting, good story. Jump scares were good. I liked it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. You should definitely pick this game up. I got it from Itch.io, Amika Games. They have a whole bunch of different games. Um, I actually bought a bundle from uh, for Halloween. We've already played September 7th and we've now played Summer of 58. So stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Wait, is this a little bonus? Oh, that's the next setting of the witches, Summer of 58. So I wonder if the next game follows on. Oh, oh, a few days later. Bonus! Oh, bonus! Wait, we get, we get bonus! We get bonus stuff. The battery is dead. I had to wait for the person who bought this house, but after his arrival a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless, untrapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from the abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure that I will be released now. We need to try and get out and warn the guy that it's dangerous to stay here. What? I was chained here? There's bones in the corner. This is witchcraft. Oh my lord. We're in a basement. We're in a freaking basement. That is a cursed object. We should not have taken that out. Oh my 
my god, that was so good. The little extra at the end? Oh, it did follow. Oh, that was crazy. Oh my god, I loved it. That was so good. <gasps> oh, I wonder if the, there's a game that follows on from that. I'm very excited. Oh, 